Hi class, welcome to Introduction to Biology. This is Bio 101. I'm your instructor, Skylar Huff. So this is going to be your course overview video in which I'll explain everything you need to know about the course. To start things off, I'm here at the Coastal Alabama Community College website showing you what to see when you visit this website. I'm unsure if you all have ever been to Canvas before, so I'll begin with at least getting you to Canvas, allowing you to log in. So once you navigate to the course website via www.coastalalabama.edu, you can then move over to where it says Student Login. Once you reach Student Login, please click it. Once the page loads, this will be what you see. So the MyCA account is where you can log in. This is where you will do everything you need to do as far as student records is concerned, including getting information for financial aid. In the meantime, I'll scroll down to Canvas, which is why I'm here. So once you click Canvas, please navigate to Canvas. And once you get to Canvas, this is what you will see when you get to the Introduction to Biology 1 class. The left-hand side allows you to navigate the page from home, which is where we are now. And since we are here, I'll spare you reading the welcome and introduction to the course. But what I will say is this will allow you to see everything you need to see. So I'll scroll just up, and on the left-hand side, you'll see where it says course syllabus, announcements, which I may announce things from time to time. <coughs> Excuse me. There are grades there, modules, people, collaborations, chat, and conferences. So from here, I'll begin with the course syllabus. As you arrive to the syllabus page, that is what you will see. So I'll give you a, a quick rundown of the course syllabus because you'll need this information to start the course. In other words, there is a syllabus quiz that you must take, and this syllabus quiz must be during, done during the first week of class. If it's not done during the first week of class, then of course you'll be marked as a student that has not attended, or at least not attempted to start the course. First things first, this is Bio 101, section WS900. Introduction to Biology 1. It's a four-hour credit course. This is fall 2018. Again, I'm your instructor, Skylar Huff. My contact information is there before you. What I'll say about this is it's typical for me to be here from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. If ever you need to contact the department chairperson, his name is Matt Williford. He's here in Babinet as well, and his information is there. Keeping in mind, this is a fully online course. Everything you need to do and will do will be done online via Canvas and, of course, Mobile Hill Connect. So as far as everything is concerned, there is not a reason to ever step onto any campus to do work for this class. So with this, this is the first of a two-course sequence designed for non-science majors. So of course, that means in the spring you very well can take Biology, well, Introduction to Biology 2. I'll scroll on down as far as the ADA accommodations. So if you would like to request accommodations, please just self-identify to me via email. And if you happen to be at one of the campuses, specifically the Babinet campus, you may self-identify to myself here in person. And I didn't mention it earlier, but my office is located here in the Tramiel, Seymour Tramiel Science Center, and it's office number S111E if you happen to be on campus and would like to come self-identify in person for any accommodations. So it states, reading the textbook is required to pass the course. And I'll spare reading all of this to you. And I'll get further into this Bio 101 course information. But since I'm here now, I guess I'll, sh I'll share part of it with you now. Each week, the modules open at 12 a.m. Sunday. And of course, the next day, I'll begin the mandatory chat session. Chat sessions are scheduled to begin at approximately 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. The chat sessions are there for you all to ask questions, have things clarified that are not well understood, and simply interact with your classmates because this is an, an online learning environment. In total, there are six learning modules, and those modules will go along two to three weeks depending upon the module, and in each module, I have things that are for you. There is a chat session, there are homework assignments, the labs, PowerPoint presentations, and of course, discussions with it ending with a timed test. So, of course, as far as the chat session is concerned, it won't take all of, I would say, 80 minutes. It just depends on how long you need to be there to, of course, I would say, conversate with me and conversate with your peers. Thereafter, the homework I stated earlier, it's going to be assigned via Connect. 
So what you'll do is just click that homework assignment and it'll take you directly to connect. And I'll walk you through that assignment in just a few. But what I will say about is this. The homework that is assigned per module will be assigned as follows. If the module has two weeks to be completed, the homework assignments will be due week by week. So after that first week, meaning seven days after the module has begun, your first of two homework assignments will be due. Seven days or after, the second of two homework assignments is due to ensure that you're getting homework done, getting classwork done as you go along. On to labs. Labs will be done via Connect just as the homework. You will not complete all of those labs. I repeat, you will not complete all of those labs. I have selected portions of each of those labs for you all to complete, and it, of course, will have stamped, not assigned, and, of course, that that is assigned will be there easily seen. Discussions are to be posted, and, of course, there are replies, three replies to your peers, and those should be discussion posts with replies of substance, not just, I agree, or good point. That would not be sufficient to earn full credit. Finally, those tests are to be completed without any assistance, meaning you cannot use your notes, you should not use your phone, you should not use internet access, and of course this will be done via the Respondus Lockdown Browser, including the webcam. So next hereafter are the course outcomes, including student learning objectives. I'll now get to the required textbook and course materials. We'll be using the Essentials of, Li of the Living World, 5th edition, and of course we'll be using Connect. I will say if you have any trouble getting access to the book, you will be provided seven-day courtesy access by McGraw-Hill, but please do purchase the option soon. Other things that are required are a biology notebook, a computer with a webcam, and of course just pencils, pens, paper, and even a calculator. Other things that are recommended would be of course broadband internet, internet access to ensure that you can access things quickly. Your final exam will begin. Monday, December 10th, and you have until December 11th to take that exam. And yes, it is online because, as I said earlier, this is a fully online course. If ever you cannot access anything at all, please contact the help desk with their contact information you see here. They will reply to you very soon and help you along the way. And if it's something that needs to be done via Canvas, you may contact Canvas, and the same can be stated about contacting Connect directly. Please ensure that you communicate me via the official communication mechanisms, i.e., your college-issued email account, or even via Canvas. It states that late work will not be accepted, and no makeups will be provided. Please make sure you get your work done on time. However, if you happen to miss work because of an, a school-sponsored event, you can very well make that work up. I'll now move on to the last day to withdraw from this course is December 7, 2018. As far as course evaluation and assessment, you have five tests worth 80 points, a comprehensive final exam, there are 12 labs, a syllabus quiz, the weekly chat sessions, our six modules, the six discussion posts, which I mentioned earlier, with three replies per, and then finally the genetics presentation. So that is the class, and these are the weights for those assignments. Alrighty, so now I will scroll back up and walk you all through the course itself. And originally I was going to go through the course by way of the student side, but because the course is set up in a way that you cannot see things unless you complete things, I have to go through my side. So things you're seeing here you may not see and it's simply because you have not gone through each of these items yet. So as far as that syllabus quiz is concerned, make sure it is completed before the due date. And of course a Minimum score has been added. In other words, if you do not earn the minimum score, you will not be able to proceed through the course. You have two attempts. I'll now move on to the course overview. So this page gives you everything I just did. I will, I will spare going through it again, but of course on the right hand side you can see a photograph of your course textbook. I'll now use the navigation here to the bottom right to go on to the course overview and to-do list. So I place this information here to ensure you know what it is you need to do. So here listed are those items I've stated earlier. 
And if you look closely, this can allow you to register with Connect. This is about your instructor, which is me. I'll let you all read this on your own, and then I'll continue on to the course introductions. So course introductions. This will be your very first discussion post. And of course, as you all can see, I have replied to that very first discussion post. I'll allow you all to read that on your own. Everything you need to access your course is here for you. So to begin things, this will be your first chapter. And of course, to spare reading to you, just ensure that you take your time here because this gives you all the information you all need. As stated earlier, the PowerPoint presentations are included. First of which is your chat session. That, of course, happened last evening. And, of course, it may happen the evening to come thereafter. So it may be a chat session today, or even the next day, too. And then, lastly, are those linked homework assignments and the discussion. So I'll now go over to McGraw-Hill Connect, which I already have open, to show you what you all will see there as far as what happens when you click this link for your homework. So it says Chapter 1, Science of Biology. So once you get here, you can see all of the assignments I have for you via McGraw Hill Connect. I'll keep this video as brief as I can, but these first three are open. And the reason that these are open is because, of course, the class has begun, and those are the first three labs. I'll now get to that that is at hand, and that that is at hand is, of course, the first of your two homework assignments. So I'll click this to be taken to your homework assignment. Now that it is loaded, it looks a bit large, so you can make the font get as small or as large as you'd like. But the biggest thing about this is to get to those questions that have been assigned for you to answer. You hover over to where it says practice, and you click practice. Please bear in mind that you all should read your textbook before coming to practice. And if you don't quite understand, if you look closely, it's saying read. It's read. Read. So once you've read the assigned information, then you can click practice to go through those questions that have been assigned. As you go through these questions, if you happen to answer something incorrectly, of course, you can click here to read about this because it will not let you progress too far if, of course, the question you answer is incorrectly answered. And, of course, there are also slides here. So all of these are here to help you progress through your homework. Now I'll go and show you all what you all shall see when we get to lapse. But first, I'll continue. So I've already shown you the discussion board. I'll next proceed to what is Chapter 1, which, of course, would be that linked presentation. Here is that for chapter 2, the linked presentation. And now, here are the labs. So I have now for you all those three linked labs, and it, here's a reminder when it is due. So here, you can click your very first lab. It tells you how long the lab should take, and let us begin. The lab loads for you. The biggest thing I say is to pay attention to the things you are to do. So yes, you have the core concepts, it has been assigned, and you have personal safety, it has also been assigned. Keep in mind, two things have not been assigned. One being hand washing procedure, it says not assigned, and the second of which being proper disposal of materials, not assigned. In addition, it says final summary questions, not assigned. So please keep in mind, the estimated 25 minutes came from two things, the first of which being your core concepts, and the second of which being personal safety. This has been your overview. Now I'll take myself back to Canvas to show you the final portion. Upon completing those labs, you should then be appropriately prepared to complete your test. So here is the test. It is a time test, and yes, you must use res the Respondus Lockdown Browser. If you need any further assistance, please let me know. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the work you do, and as always, contact me if you all have any questions or need any assistance. Thank you.